Is it just me or is social media getting weirder and weirder? I feel like as of lately, people have just been saying whatever they want to say, when they want to say it, how they want to say it. And they have no understanding of how it impacts the other person on the other side. One thing that I know for sure, a lot of people that's talking crazy, they would never, if given the opportunity, say those things to your face. So look, I'm going to break down three unspoken and unwritten social media rules that I wish everybody would follow. Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of the Keandra Jackson Show. I am your host, licensed marriage and family therapist, Keandra Jackson. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I have been getting a lot of weird comments on all of my social media platforms. I'm talking about TikTok, here on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, all over the place. And even people say crazy things and send me weird emails too. It's just blowing my mind how people basically have no filter. They say what they want to say, how they want to say it, when they want to say it to anybody, because I feel like there's just this level of uh, anonymity on social media, so to speak, especially for the weirdos who don't have profile pictures and, you know, don't use their real name and all of those things. There's a level of, you know, hiding that can go forth, but they don't understand the ramifications of their words and their actions to the people that they say it to. So listen, I was thinking about three unwritten social media rules that I wish I could share with the world and that everybody would actually follow to make this whole social media space a little bit more easier and safer emotionally safe for the people who do have platforms and are putting themselves out there in a more positive light. And they're just trying to spread a little bit of joy. So listen, let's break down these three because I'm excited to talk to y'all about it. Before I give y'all these three things, let me know in the comment section, what are some unwritten and unspoken social media rules that you wish other people will follow? I want to know. So the first unwritten social media rule that I wish everybody would follow is that you can still disagree with someone and still be kind. Let me say that again for the people in the back. You can disagree with someone and still be kind. I have no idea where we got this idea from that just because you disagree with somebody's perspective that you have to be mean, that you have to be nasty, that you have to be condescending, that you have to talk about them physically or emotionally. I don't understand why you can't just respectfully disagree. You hear someone's perspective and you're like, okay, cool. Well, I actually see it from this vantage point and this is why, pop, 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 pop. And let it be, right? Put your little comment, boop, 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 say what you're gonna say and keep it pushing. I don't understand why we gotta say, well, look, you wrong and you ugly and your hair was this and last time you said this and you wrong because, why do we have to go to the extreme of being unkind to people? And I understand that this is probably a higher level of emotional intelligence that I'm talking about with communication and being able to express yourself and not have to attack someone's personality or their style style or the way they look just because you disagree with them. But I feel like this is just something that your mama should have taught you. Be kind to other people, treat other people how you want to be treated, even if it is in and on these internet streets. The second unwritten social media rule that I wish people would know is that if you disagree with someone's perspective, you don't have to be disrespectful. All you have to do is keep scrolling. Breaking news. You have the power to keep scrolling and not have to engage with something that you don't want to give energy to. Again, I don't understand why we have to take so much time to combat somebody's ideology. You have no idea how many times I see things on my timeline, honey, that I absolutely disagree with, especially all of these relationship podcasts and relationship coaches and gurus popping up everywhere and they don't even know what they're talking about. And I just be like, bruh. Not another one. (laughs) And instead of me combating every single one, because it's too many of them for me to take on by myself and commenting and going in, I just keep scrolling. It's just like, you know what? That's not even worth my time. That's not even worth my energy. I'm just going to continue to show up as and in my authentic self and be able to help people in a relationship lane as a licensed relationship therapist. That we just need to understand the power of just keep scrolling. And if a lot of us implemented that, 
I think we would just be in such a better place. We wouldn't get ourselves riled up trying to go back and forth with people and the person's page that you're commenting on. They may not even need that type of negativity in their life. Anyway, you never know what people are going through. So, so just err on the side of being cautious of what you say to people, period. And the last and third unwritten social media rule that I wish people will follow is that you don't have to say everything that you think. <laughs> you do not have to say everything that comes to your mind. Let me tell y'all something that literally happened to me last week. So I have like this little contact form on my website where people can fill it out and send me messages, whatever, whatever. So I got a message from my contact form and I'm like, oh, somebody sent me a message or an inquiry about something. So I went and I had my assistant look at it and she sent it over to me. And then it literally said, from Evil Knievel, because it has a place where you have to put your name, email address, and then the body of the message. It said, from Evil Knievel, it had their email address. And then it said, I don't know why you wear so much makeup. You need to stop wearing makeup and go back to just being completely all natural. Er, <laughs> you took time out of your busy schedule. <laughs> Probably not even busy because you clearly ain't got nothing else to do. Okay. And I should, I'm actually going to lick it in this video so y'all can see that I was not lying. He was talking about how I shouldn't wear makeup and I'm beautiful without it and all. It's like, you took the time to send a message on my contact form just to tell me that I wear too much makeup. And because you think that I wear too much makeup, I should stop doing it. Sir, I'm going to do what I want to do. Okay. I'm going to look fine in all of my videos. Okay. Hair done face done, outfit. I'm going to look as beautiful as I want to look with or without makeup. You don't make or break me, but it blew my mind that someone would take the time to even say that to me. It's ridiculous. So this goes back to my point of you don't have to say everything that you think because a lot of the times your perspective and your comments are not even warranted. I didn't need you to email me, bruh. <laughs> and a lot of the times when people are responding to negative comments, we don't need that type of energy, right? And so sometimes the things that you even think are not even accurate. It's not even appropriate. It's not even correct. And sometimes you just need to just, 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 <laughs> just zip it, you know, essentially because it's like, bro, we don't even want to hear you, sis. We do not even want to hear you. And just because you think something in your own brain does not mean other people need to hear it does not mean it's correct. You can be out here saying what you think all the time and sound like boo boo the fool. Be sounding real dumb and ignorant and stupid, right? And so sometimes there are comments that's like, what? <laughs> what are you saying? Like, why are you trying to do too much? Or are people trying to get too deep when something is meant to be funny or, you know, have some satire, just something. And people just like, oh no, well, that's, narcissism and you have issues from your mom and your childhood it's like it wasn't that deep like it was just a comment it was, it was comedy <laughs> so I think those three rules if we just got those across the board and understood that we are all human beings and people I think that we would just live a happier social media life so my final thoughts on this, because it's a wrap, is to go back to the basics. I'm not sure if your mama taught you what you were supposed to learn, but be kind to people. Use your words carefully. I firmly believe that life and death is in the power of the tongue. And what you say to people goes around, comes around. If you are sowing good seeds and being nice and kind and giving compliments and, and really just sharing some of the positive things of what other people have said and how it impacts you live your best life like that right but if you are sowing seeds of discord if you're negative if you're nasty if you're unkind god don't like ugly god don't like all of that right and you're going to be held accountable for every single idle word that you say and when god run the tape back on me <laughs> i don't want him to be like well keandra you said that that one time and you shouldn't have said it because that person was impacted by that and you didn't even know that that mean comment you know had them spiral down like i don't want those i don't want that kind of blood on my hands and to take it a step further you just never know what people are going through we post 
COVID and post pandemic, or we might still be in it, child. I don't even know what's going on. There's just so much going on with people's finances, with people losing people, death, loss. People are still going through depression and medical issues and issues with their kids and their marriage and jobs. And there's just so many things that are happening in people's lives that are outside of their control. And it is beating us up a little bit. Life has been throwing them curveballs, just curveball after curveball for a lot of us. I know, especially for me, I've been getting hit back to back to back with some things that are completely outside of my control. And just know that those negative comments sometimes can send people overboard. That isn't the thing that they need to keep pushing. It actually makes things worse. And the flip side is beautiful too, because I've gotten so many messages on top of the raggedy, disrespectful, mean ones where people are like, you know what, Keandra, thank you so much for what you do. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for your consistency. Thank you for your videos. You've literally helped me. I mean, those messages, those beautiful, kind words, they also go a long way. Because again, if someone is in a negative space or they're going through a lot personally, just that one little sentence on social media that says, keep going, you inspire me, thank you, you've helped me with X, Y, and Z, I'm appreciative of all that you do, it keeps the person going. I know it keeps me going, because there's some days where I'm like, F this whole YouTube thing, F these videos, I don't wanna do this no more, I'm about to go get a regular job. (laughs) Even though I've been a full-time entrepreneur for seven years. And sometimes you just feel defeated because things don't always go the way that you plan for it to go. But those moments where people give me that extra encouragement, And they don't even know it half of the time is what keeps me going. So I'm so appreciative when God sends random people. And nine times out of 10, it's people that I don't even know, like just social media followers, just random people who've seen a a video that I made or a post or something. And they may slide in my DM or put a comment under the, the post. And it just really makes my day. So be kind, be gentle, be gracious to people. You never know what they're going through. Handle your social media platform with responsibility. You do that and if everybody took on that mindset, I just think it will be such a better place. Thank you so much for watching another episode of the Keandra Jackson Show and I will see you next time. Bye.